Good morning, guys. So today is day three out of three of work for me. So hopefully it goes smoothly and I get out one piece and yeah, everybody has a good day today. All the patients do well, that would be great. So today I'm gonna talk about a topic I'm very passionate about. I'm probably gonna like be all over the place because I'm passionate about it. Um, basically I'd like to discuss with everyone the things that you should not be saying to uh, people without children. And let me tell you why. People don't have children for various reasons. Some people, it's not financially, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, feasible, I guess, for them to have children, okay? Wouldn't it be better to not bring a child into an environment in which you can't provide for them? I think so. Um, okay, so that could be a reason people don't have children. People may not want children. Not everybody likes children. Uh, there are times when I'm like, uh, I don't really care for kids. You know, I mean, I'm sure. And then there's people that I've talked to that just can't stand kids in general. If you don't like kids, you don't like kids. There's nothing wrong with that. Not everybody's made in that way where they can tolerate the noise and everything. And then last reason, big reason, the reason I don't have children and probably one of the more painful reasons that... <laughs> people don't have children and you know infertility um I haven't been out I've had infertility unexplained infertility for since I was 25 I'm 32 so um what that means is basically I have absolutely no reason that they can find that I shouldn't be able to have kids but I just can't so that's frustrating you know that's aggravating to just not know why like if you could just tell me something's wrong with me, I would be happy with that. I would be happy to have something that you could tell is wrong with me so I had an answer, but I don't, and my husband's fine and everything. So, um, so that's all reasons people might not have kids. So now, with that being said, everybody watching out there, I think you'll understand what I'm talking about, and maybe if you're one of these people that do these things, you haven't realized and you didn't mean it, and hopefully you won't do it again. So, let's get into it. Um, this got brought up because on Facebook the other day, I was like, I said something. I was somewhere and they had a screaming kid and I was just like, oh, you know, this is like a time in my life where I'm happy. I don't have kids because this kid's screaming and, you know, and it's peaceful for me because I don't have to put up with it kind of thing. Well, then I got a lot of, com like people thought it was funny and all this stuff and I got a bunch of comments. Well, some of them were like, and nobody meant it and I know nobody meant it in like a ugly way or like malicious manner or anything people just don't know that's the purpose of this I got a lot of comments like why not you should when are you having kids oh no kids are great like you know and then all this kind of stuff or and I and I was like well I don't really want kids because I've, I've come to a point where I have learned to accept that I'm not going to have them probably and I'm happy in my life and it took me a long time to get here and I'm not ashamed of it so and they're like, oh, that's silly. Like, of course you want kids and all this stuff. No, you don't know what I want. You don't know. You are not me. You cannot say, oh, you know you want kids. Okay, well, I did at one point. And yes, if I would have a kid now, I'd be happy. But I don't, and I'm not planning on it, so don't tell me what I want. So that's like an inappropriate, and this person just almost ran into the back of me. It's great. Um, that's one inappropriate thing to tell people when they if they say they don't have kids is oh you know you want them and all no stop it another thing if you don't know me and you ask me if I have children like that's fine and when I tell you I don't want children or like not or if I tell you I don't have children don't start probing me why don't you want children children are great all this you don't know why I don't have kids I don't know you well enough to sit here and explain to you that I have you know that I can't or whatever like we don't need to go there and all I should have to say is I don't have kids and if you ask me why and I say well if I feel like answering you that day and I say well I don't want them you know we don't need to go past that you don't need to be like oh why of course you do no and all this stuff and then people will even go as far to be like oh well did you get yourself checked out like if I if I say well I don't have them because I just never did have them I never was able to have them usually I'll leave it like that so then it's not like you know and then they'll keep being like oh well is it you is it your husband all right first of all the problem with that is that's not your damn business whose issue it is like whether it's my body my husband's body 
whoever that's none of your business okay I get it if you're a close friend and you ask me or something okay but if you're like just a random like you know just co-worker just random Joe like no and really you shouldn't be asking people if they want to tell you they'll tell you so yeah I get I get told ask that is it my fault is it Ky you know Kyle is he has he checked out fine I mean that is so rude I would never ask a person that and then ask them go ahead and further and ask them about their spouse's like reproductive health I'm sorry that's very inappropriate and gets my nerves and then um another one is this is the last one because I'm actually pulling into work um the one that I really don't like too is well you could always just adopt okay number one that's super cold and and rude like oh you could always just do this like like because your uterus doesn't produce children you could just do this and this this will be good enough no first of all did anybody tell you well you could just adopt kids I mean how would you feel if you were in my shoes okay that's rude so not that I have a problem with adoption and then it's like oh well let me tell you why I don't adopt because adoption costs you know thousands of dollars do you have thousands of dollars for me no until you have thousands of dollars for me to pay for the adoption fee don't ask me why I don't adopt why don't you adopt you know I mean get out of here and I think oh and then just like telling like for example my friend she's just you know she doesn't want kids she's successful she doesn't want children that's her that's not what she wants in her life and she's always got people asking her about it and being like oh well you should like they can't wrap their little pea brains around the fact that it's it's freaking 2018 and women don't just sit at home and push out babies all day some do and that's fine but that's not for everybody and it shouldn't be like the society norm like oh as soon and I think that's part I'm just going off y'all I'm sorry I think that's part of living in the south too I feel like that's like the thing out here is to and, and everybody's gonna get mad that I'm saying it but I can because I live out here it's like it's like since you're little you're raised to um, be molded into a mom and a, and a caregiver and a, a housekeeper and all this. No, no, it's not for everybody and it shouldn't be. But anyway, I'm at work. Um, that was like a really kind of like thrown together rant because it's seriously coming out of my soul. And I'm glad I got to share it with you all because it was on my chest last night and I was really annoyed. And my friend at work is looking at me crazy. So I'll see you guys later and y'all have a great day.